a rigid tank contains a hot fluid that is cooled while being steered by a paddle wheel. Initially, the internal energy of the fluid is 800 kilojoules. During the cooling process, the fluid loses 500 kilojoules of heat and the paddle wheel does 100 kilojoules of work on the fluid. Determine the final internal energy of the fluid. Neglect the energy stored in the paddle wheel. So, from the problem, may mga given. Okay? Given natin. So, we have initial specific or initial internal energy Q sub 1. We have 800 kilojoules and then we have heat loss no? of 500 kilo kilojoules and then meron tayong tumatawag na paddle work no? so paddle work that is 100 kilojoules so required we are asked to find the final internal energy so kung mapapansin natin ito ay closed system no then meron siyang paddle work o ito i-steer siya so to solve this one we will be using the non-flow energy equation no so by non-flow energy equation ganun ulit we have energy in minus energy out equals change in energy okay so ano ba ang requirement itong left side of the equation so so meron pa rin tayong heat so we have q in minus q out plus we have work external in minus work external out. So, wala na po flow work, no? Since yan ay closed system. So, walang uh, walang energy needed to push push the fluid to the boundary, no? Hindi na kailangan closed system siya. So, yun ang pinagkaiba, no? Dito, pag SFEE may flow work, dito wala, no? And then, the right side remains the same. We have delta U plus delta PE plus Delta K. Okay, isa-isahin natin. So, we have Q in 0. Wala. Wala naman pumasok na in eh. Pero sa Q out, meron. No? Q plus natin ito. Uwin na lang natin siyang Q. So, gawin ko itong Q. Next. Work external in. Meron bang work na papasok? Meron. Ito yung tinatawag natin paddle work. Next. Meron bang work na lalabas? Wala. No? So, zero ito. And then, since wala na banggit about the elevation, we safely assume that Z1 is equal to Z2. Thus, change in potential energy is equal to zero. Consequently, wala na nabanggit tungkol sa velocity ng ating fluid. So, let's say V1 is equal to V2. Therefore, delta Ke is equal to 0. So, maraming mawawala. Wala na ito. Uh, wala ito. Wala ito. Wala na rin ito. So, ano na lang natira? So, we have negative Q out which is negative Q na lang, plus external in ko, yun yung aking paddle work, equals delta U. And we all know delta U is laging final minus initial. Okay? So we have negative Q plus paddle work is equal to U2 minus U1. Or finally, you have U2 is equal to negative Q plus paddle work plus U1. So, final internal energy is equal to negative Q which is negative 500 
kilojoules plus paddle work of 100 kilojoules plus initial internal energy of 800 kilojoules. So finally, we have the final internal energy of 400 kilojoules. So ito na po ang sagot. 